The pencil tool in Designer Persona allows us to draw vector lines intuitively using the mouse or graphics tablet. I'm using a Wacom. I'm in Designer Persona. I'm going to select my pencil tool and you'll see this allows me to draw a vector line. Now I want to control the pressure of this line so I can go to the controller, select pressure and this makes the line respond to the pressure sensitivity on my graphics tablet. Now there are other ways I can control pressure. I can go and select none and go to my stroke studio. This allows me to change the width and various other options. It also allows me to create a custom pressure profile. If I click reset here, I can then start to edit the nodes to create a custom profile. The start and end node will automatically move together but we can customise this by simply clicking until we see a solid blue square and then we can create an asymmetric stroke profile. Another option we can use with the pencil tool is the stabiliser. There are two options, the rope mode or window mode. And if we hover over them, we can get a brief overview of what they're about. If I select rope, you can see it drags the pencil behind it, creating a smooth stroke and tight angles. We can alter the length of the rope here. Window mode has a more elastic effect and is great for creating spirals and tight detailed lines. Stabilizers just help us smooth out our lines when we're drawing. Another option we can use with the pencil tool is Sculpt. This allows us to create continuous lines and easy fills. With it deactivated, you'll see that each line I create is separate and individual. This becomes particularly apparent when I select Use Fill, as we don't get the desired effect of filling this shape we've just created. If I just undo all of that and activate Sculpt, you'll see that my line is continuous and I can fill in the middle. I can also sculpt and edit my lines by drawing over the top.